shoo, 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 get out of here. Hell nah, bro. Hell nah. You know what? I'm going to go out there and say it. This is what hockey content creators do. And I say content creators and not YouTubers, because this doesn't directly apply to just people who make videos about it. This applies to people who write articles, who publish written material online. Content. I know you could say that I'm being a hypocrite by making this video. And I am. But darn it, did I not find this to be a very... Very fun discussion to be having once again, and I say that sarcastically. Let's talk today about an article I saw on TVA Sports that isn't actually about the Montreal Canadiens. Yeah, cool, we're having a conversation on TVA that ain't about the Montreal team. Go figure. But either way, today we're talking about this piece that I translated from French into English, and the title is this. NHL. A reunion of talented brothers coming soon? This article is French, so I feel kind of comfortable going out there just translating it via the Google machine and reading it verbatim here, because this piece, published on August 17th, goes out there and says this. The talent of brothers Jack and Quinn Hughes is already recognized throughout the NHL and their futures look bright, but could they spend the next few years on the same team? According to a source in the middle, it's very possible. The article says this, that a site called thehockeybuzz.com mentioned that the Devils, with which Jack plays, had discussions in recent days with the Vancouver Canucks about the idea of acquiring Quinn. It specifies that the New York organization and its general manager, Tom Fitzgerald, are willing to make transactions. Also, they would be the only team to have taken up the case of the 23-year-old defender getting traded to New Jersey. Now, the article goes over a few other things. Hey, it's speculation, Quinn Hughes, Luke Hughes, Jack Hughes, the brothers, and all that stuff. But if you go over to the website that it cites here, HockeyBuzz.com, again, no disrespect to anybody else who creates a living making content about NHL stuff. I do the exact same thing. But the article, or rather the thread that the TVA Sports article cites, is just this thing right here. NJD have had serious discussions with Vancouver on Quinn Hughes. The Devils are on of many teams. Yeah, it says on of and not one of. Many teams talking to Vancouver these days. They will be making some deals in the upcoming days, but so far, I believe only New Jersey have hit on the subject of Quinn Hughes. Now, it doesn't actually say who wrote it, but if you go to the preview here, it says that it's written out by Eklund. And I think most people are aware that Eklund doesn't really have the best reputation for spreading truths in the NHL community when it comes to trade rumors and discussions on which teams are talking to other teams. Now, of course, the idea of Quinn Hughes getting traded to New Jersey has always been there. We've made a bunch of videos over the years saying, hey, Devils fans want this guy. Could Quinn Hughes go to New Jersey after his contract expires? Could there be a blockbuster trade? Something like that. But of course, this time around, it's, hey, somebody is saying that there actually is a discussion or two going on about it, and the guy who's saying it happens to not really have the strongest rep amongst NHL content consumers and the like. So while it may still be a conversation worth having, the source here, I don't want to go out there and say is one that I trust, personally speaking at least. Now for TVA Sports to go out there and make an article about it, they have their reasons. They made the article for the same reason I'm making this video, because at the end of the day, it's the middle, late end of August, and we need to create content to garner views and sustain our incomes. Of course, it's fun for y'all to get a kick out of seeing us talking about Quinn Hughes get traded to the Devils again, but I get it, it's not really the most fun conversation to be having. With that being said, though, let's just go over the profile, try to cover our bases just in case this does ever happen, just in case the New Jersey Devils end up actually getting Quinn Hughes from the Vancouver Canucks, a guy whom I've been saying this entire time, and whom you've all been saying in the comments section below, should be the next captain of the team. After Bo Horvat left, he had a few options there, P.D. Miller, Hughes, yeah, no, Hughes is the guy that probably is the best equipped mentally, physically, and in terms of his on-ice quality of play to take that responsibility. He's a superstar caliber defender, he is a gamer, he believes in himself, he believes in the team, and he believes in really giving great answers to the media, which are all things the Canucks fanbase sees in Captain Material. 
when it comes to Quinn, though, and his on ice play, 76 points in 78 games played last year. Seven goals, too, which is pretty noteworthy since I think he went like half the year without scoring a single goal. He's got a really wildly accurate wrist shot that's only accurate like one every ten times. The other nine times it either misses the net or it gets deflected away or something. He gets it on goal and there's a rebound or something like that. Quinn can snipe it once in a while, but it very much is once in a while. And of course, the assists, the playmaking, it's all there. He had more assists in this prior year than he has had points in any other season, and he was the second most productive defenseman in the entire NHL in points behind one Eric Carlson, who just kind of, you know, he dominated the league in that respect. And so for Quinn Hughes, while legitimately one of the best defensemen in the NHL, he is a guy that realistically is not going to get traded anytime soon. Even if another team is going out there and offering, let's say, Simo Nemec, a draft pick, another great prospect, and a defenseman replacement on the blue line, I think the Vancouver Canucks see so much, too much maybe, value in Quinn Hughes that they would not even think about trading him away. Hughes and Petey, they should be the only untouchables, and if you ever do even think of the idea of trading them away, it has to be for a package that includes multiple things. As we had said, Simon Nemec, you have to start out with that guy. Maybe even Luke Hughes is in the conversation instead, which is probably not going to be the case because that would be so counterproductive, but let's say Simon Nemec is in there, let's say another first, let's say another prospect or another defender that could replace the minutes that Quinn Hughes eats on the team, and even then that's a starting point. Not to say that that's worth it for New Jersey, but I'm saying instead that's probably what Vancouver has to think about when it comes to even considering the idea of trading Quinn Hughes away. And of course, because the Devils are a good team, they have legitimate playoff aspirations and they could probably win a cup in the next few years, I'd say the odds that they really butcher their team, they sacrifice bits and pieces of their blue line to get one guy, it's probably not too high. Now you could go out there with the opposing perspective and say, hey, they could trade away all their young guys, all their prospects, all their picks, because if they get Quinn Hughes and that puts them over the edge to winning a cup in 24-25, for example, with Luke Hughes on his ELC, with Jack Hughes still making the amount of money he's making, you have all three Hugheses on the same team winning a cup together, then okay, I could understand that perspective. It's just, it's going to take the moon, the stars, Venus, Mercury, and even more to get Quinn Hughes off of the Vancouver Canucks. So... To TVA Sports, to Eklund and Hockey Buzz, y'all, please just stop. Because it's not gonna happen. And you could say that I should stop too. I mean, I went out there and made this video, but hey, I wanted to have a fun conversation. It always goes down like that, right? So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this entire idea that the New Jersey Devils are apparently asking the Vancouver Canucks for Quinn Hughes. Are you surprised that we're having this conversation for the umpteenth time this season, this past few seasons? We are always talking about the three Hugheses. They're always such great conversations to have. But when it comes to the idea of them coming together... Yeah, it's not going to happen, at least in the foreseeable future. Thoughts in the comments section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.